Hey, what's going on guys? I'm excited to bring you a new tool I've been working on. It's called the Relationship Analyzer. Uh, this tool is me very powerful with changing your life and removing toxic people and figuring out first to remove those toxic people you need to figure out who the toxic people are what's the toxic um values they bring to the table uh and how you know stuff you're not becoming aware of and this tool is allow you to become aware of these toxic people the values they add to your life um, or the things they add to your life that is toxic and how to remove them so uh, this would be a very powerful tool and not only that you'll not only will you be able to remove the toxic people but you will also be able to uh figure out the positive people in your life, what they do for you, and you become a lot more grateful for those people, and you'll be able to develop a more deeper and meaningful relationship with those people and elevate that, um, and it's be very powerful, and you can become a lot happier, a lot more positive, uh, you're going to notice a lot less uh, negativity in your life. Um, the reason why I made this tool is because I'm personally, I've been a very good person at looking at the toxic benefits of people uh, and being able to remove those people out of my life, uh, people who don't add any value to me, who offers a lot of negativity, who does a lot of negative things of, and remove those people and keep only the good people around me. Um, and I live a lot less stress of a life compared to some people who, when I look at their circle, it's just full of negativity. Um, they got a lot of stuff going on around them that isn't too hot and uh, they have no clue why. And really, all they need to do is change their friends, change their circle, and um, you know it's going to be a step in the right direction. This is what this tool allows you to do. And I'll be warning you right now that it's going to be very painful. It's going to be emotional. You, you're going to really break these things down, and be, you're going to have a few aha mo moments. But also, some of them will be hurt, and it's 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 you know it's like pouring um, salt on a, a scar. <laughs> it's it's not going to be fun at all. Uh, it's going to be a little painful, but once you get through this, you're going to become very aware of the people in your life, and you're going to have specific actions to take uh, to minimize energy and time that's allocated to those people, and you're going to change your life uh, using this tool. So before we get started, go right here to File, or click the link in the description, then go to File, uh, Make a Copy, and uh, you know rename it, and then save it to your Google Drive, so that way you can actually use this yourself. So just a quick overview of it um, there's four different steps you got to take to do this tool uh, it'll take probably about an hour it's about two hours the first time you do this um, you know you can kind of half-ass do it the first time but uh, if you really get deep into it take about an hour to two hours to do so just a little heads up but there's four different steps right here to do um, you got your step one which is identifying the relationships then you want to identify the positive injections from these people the negative injections from these people. And then final is the scoreboard, which allows you to figure out people who offer positivity in your life, neg more negativity in your life, and how to elevate the positive relationships and how to move yourself away from the negative relationships um, <clears throat> and specific actions that take to maybe even change those relationships first before you have to completely cut that person off. So let's get started, guys. Um, is it very simple to use? and really takes it doesn't have to be a genius to use this so um, I've already kind of listed a few people but um, this is where you begin uh, list all the names here it's basically just like a white space so you can come there and uh, you know type up people's names and stuff uh, I think it has about what like 16 48 spots to type people and you basically want to write down everyone in the past 30 days that you had two or three conversations with um, maybe more and uh, really dig deep into these people. So these can be friends, this can be family, this can be work associates, this can be people that you talk to at the gym, people you talk to while going to do other stuff. Um, these are people you talk to on social media. Okay, you know these are people you're gonna talk to, you know, frequently too. You don't want to just talk. To, you don't want to just list a guy, the UPS driver, who you talked to once the last month or last in the past thirty days when he said sign here, and you maybe had a very quick, short conversation. But these are people that's gonna be occasionally or uh, consistently popping back up into your life frequently popping back up into your life and you want to list these people you won't be listing the great uncle or the uncle that you talk to maybe once a year or the aunt you talk to maybe twice a year um, but you will be listing the family members that you talk to once a week maybe twice a week and um, you know Kate especially your mom dad um, you, you want to list these type of people in your life so I kind of listed a few people right here my mom my dad 
um, Sadie, beautiful girlfriend, uh, Jake, one of my best friends, uh, fitness guru. Um, but I listed all these people right here. Very, very, these are probably, you know, very deep people in my life. Um, and then also Jack, he's just a random guy. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna show you right quick. I'm just gonna type a name. This is me, Miranda. I don't know Miranda in my life. So, uh, hopefully <laughs> there's not a Miranda watching this. Um, but these are going to be people right here. This is just simply showing you how to type in people right here. You get your name. And then it actually, if you identify them, what this means by is, is once you type all their names up, you want to identify the type of relationship you have with them. There's five levels of relationships you have with people. And um, it's all right here. So level one, this is basically your very small talk people. These are your people that um, say if you go to the gym, when you scan your tag, there's gonna be a person at the desk, and you might, you know, say a few words to them every single day. More, more than just how's it going, you know. Maybe, maybe say a few things like, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, saw the news last night, weather, blah blah. You know, you have a, you have some small talk with them. Um, then you have your level two people, which is uh, your people that you're having small talk with, but you go a little deeper into conversation. You're talking about other people about big issues that are going on. You, you lay out some opinions, some ideas, um, but um, you know, you're still you still have that guard up where you don't let anything out that they might they can judge you for. Then level three is where you're going to contest the waters. You're going to try to say some stuff to get the other person to react to it. You know, you're going to offer your ideas, your deeper ideas, where people really, really will judge you for your dreams, your goals, um, and just try to see what they say. Uh, then you have a level four communication. This is your, I mean, relationship. These are people that you're completely comfortable with. You're not afraid of being judged at all. Um, you share your deep emotions, your passions and stuff. Um, these are going to be your, your, your close friends. Then you have your level five. These are going to be your people that you've been around with for years who have been very, you know, your best friend, your you know, your girlfriend of a long period of time, your partner of a long period of time, your your mom, your dad. Um, these are people you talk to literally almost daily. You have a very strong spiritual connection with them. Uh, these people are very important in your life. So the first thing you want to do is just identify those relationships right now. And um, it's fairly easy <laughs> to do. So, um, you know, your mom, uh, my mom, me and her have a very good connection. So I'm put, you know, mom, dad, um, then uh, Sadie, Jake. So these people mean a lot to me. Um, you know, we have some very strong connections and stuff. And, um, you know, time doesn't really matter, but, you know, very good connections. Then then there's Jack. Jack's the guy that, uh, I don't go to college, but um, Jack's the guy that, for some of you are probably watching, do, do go to college. He's the guy that, uh, you know, you maybe study with one, two or three times a week at school, and that's about it. And then on weekends, he's always trying to get you to go downtown, drink, party, have fun. So I'll put Jack. And, uh, you know, you, you kind of test this water. So you don't really completely, you know, you know, he's not like a super close best friend or a close friend, but, uh, you know, you all go partying and you just go in there just because, you know, he's there. That's it. You know, he's a friend, acquaintance, no big deal. Then there's Miranda. Miranda is your work partner um, that, uh, you know, you just have small talk with every time you go to work and that's about it. So um, that's just makeup people me use for this video. But once you identify these people, you can just check off their name. As soon as you type their name, go ahead and check it off right here. Boom, boom. So you can go through the whole list. You don't have to use every single one of these cells, um, but if you do, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. But these could be literally all the people in your life and you could be perfectly fine with that. So next thing is to go to the positive injection. So we wanna figure out what type of positive injections these people put into our life. You know, what type of positive energy they're injecting into our life, positive knowledge, you know, there's three or seven different areas right here. Uh, health could be, you know, going to the gym. Wealth could be just money managing habits and stuff. Wisdom, you know, just could be someone that you could empty your soul out into, talk to. They make you feel good. They give some really good advice. Um, business, uh, this might not really concern everyone for this specific category, but someone could be some really good business advice. Um, 
family and relationships, uh, people who help you strengthen your relationships with your family, your friends, um, you know, your social leadership. Some of you guys are not going to really have this. This is people who have big like Instagram followings, YouTube followings, Facebook followings, uh, people who lead a lot of people. Uh, this would be something right here. And then there's spiritual. Spiritual is be like going to church and stuff. Um, you know, praying and, you know, people encouraging you to do those habits. So, uh, let's go right here. Let's start breaking these people down right here. Um, I'm not really gonna do my mom and dad, but I'll do, let's see, Sadie. She has a lot of good benefits and positive injections in my life, but, uh, just one to keep everything unique. Uh, she inject, uh, she, you know, encourages me to go to church every Sunday and and goes to church with me boom um let's see and then uh she also has let's see she encourages fast food and this and this is like a double right here so uh, something else she likes to encourage me about is uh, just uh, not spending all my money on fast food because I tend to do that a lot. Um, but uh, also, it's a double. So, if, you know, she encourages me not to spend all my money on fast food. It's a double because I'm saving money, but also I'm being healthy and, you know, I'm not eating, you know, very horrible American food uh, <laughs> full of calories and stuff. So, fast food. Um, Saving my health. I'm just gonna do that. Cool. But you can do all this for your friends. Um, Jake, he's a really good fitness person. He helps me a lot with workouts and stuff, diet tips and stuff. So, got tips, workout and diet tips. Boom. Um, he also teaches me a lot about staying humble and stuff, or levels me out. humble um business he's always there to listen basically with all my business business ideas he's very supportive i was gonna put that for city cool so i don't really want to go like completely into like my personal life but just uh kind of breaking things down of how i see it um because you really want to go into really deep with all this um, so let's do cool. So we got Jake Sadie down. Uh, let's do Jack. Jack was the guy that, um, uh, you know, you go to college with, you study with them two or three times a week, but also likes to party. Uh, so let's do wisdom mental. This could also be like your education thing. So Jack, um, helps study. Boom. Um, you can also do if you're passing your tests and stuff, um, if you're passing your tests and stuff at school because you have someone to help you study, there's more of likely a chance you're going to pass college. And if you pass college, you're going to have a greater chance of getting a good job or the job you want. So therefore, he's contributing to your success and the wealth of getting a good job. So he's not necessarily directly helping me get a good job, but it's basically showing uh, the, the addition he's adding to my life. Boom. So you see how this works. So you're just going to break it all down um, and really go into these different categories of life and uh, how these people are helping you in. You know, go deep. Dig dig really deep. Break things down and really level everything out. You know, just kind of like how I did like right here with Sadie when, you know, she encourages me not to spend all my money on fast food. I'm also saving money. And then also, I am saving my health. You know, I'm being healthy. I'm doing a healthy decision. So, you know, that's two occurrences right there. But you really want to break everything down um, in the positive category and, you know, really dig deep for all these people that you listed in your circle. So next thing you want to do is go into the negatives. So all of these people, they have positives, but every person has some negatives. It, it's it's not, you know, it's bound to happen. Um I know, uh, you know, not, I don't really want to get personal with this one, but uh, I'm going to go right here and 
let's say Jack, the guy that you're going to college with and stuff, you know, is like studying stuff, but also he likes to party on the weekends. He's always hitting up your phone. Hey, dude, come hang out with me. Let's drink. Let's go party. Let's let's go downtown and stuff. You know, he's always encouraging you. And majority of the time you say no, but there's sometimes you go and it's just bad experience, you know. Um, but he he's injecting a few negatives in your life, you know. Uh, one, your health, Jack. Um, you know, consume a lot of alcohol and i just i just spelled alcohol wrong but uh you go downtown you drink you consume a lot of alcohol um you also go eat fast food after again and this is all because of him and this is not just to sit there and blame everyone about things in your life because you need to take responsibility and control these specific things um but these are all like things that goes on when you go out with these people. Uh, wealth, um, I spend all my money at Downs. Another one I could add is sleep. So Jack makes me sleep deprived, I eat a lot of fast food, I eat unhealthy, I consume a lot of alcohol, I spend all my money. So yeah, he helps me two or three times during a week, but also, damn, like, you know, this is really hurting my health and wealth of my, you know, category and stuff right here. So you want to just basically break down all your circle again, figure out all of the negatives that people add to your life and, you know, some of these right here, like really not completely negative, but you know, if, if, if it's something that if it's a person that's in your life that you're allowing in your life and you can't take the responsibility to not go do these things with them, then you just need to cut them out, cut them out your life. Stop hanging out with them. Stop saying yes and stuff because it's getting you into these situations right here. So you want to break everyone down, break all their negative injections down. Then you can go to finally the last step. Um, this is where you want to list all the people again um, that you listed in your circle. You want to list all these people right here. You want to go step four. I'm just going to list Jack for this one uh, just because it's kind of hard. Um, I didn't really list all the negatives for all these other people. This is positives for. But what you want to do is you want to break these people down. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, is positive points, points right here. Uh, this is basically is the total positive occurrences number of positive occurrences of people right here so total amount of times jack's name comes up times whatever level he is so he's a level three so i'm a do let's see he pops up what once twice two times in my positive injections so i'm gonna multiply that by his level he's a level three so i'm gonna do jack times level three and it's gonna give me six so he has a total of six positive points. Boom. So he has a you know pretty positive impact in my life. But now what I need to do is I need to go do the positive uh, negative impact he has in my life. So he has one, two, three, four. He has four occurrences of negative injections in my life. So again, he's level three. So I'm gonna do four times three is twelve. Boom. So he basically actually has like a negative 60 percent impact in my life i know you can't have a negative 60 uh, percentage um but you know you get the point he has a very strong impact in my life negatively uh, you know for every positive point he has two negative points basically um so i need to make a change in that life because what you want to do is you want to come there in anything that's red any any person that is red you want to come there and <clears throat> You want to decrease that relationship. You want to minimize uh, time and energy allocated to that specific person. So you want to move yourself away from that relationship. Um, so what can I do with Jack? So again, the situation, he helps me study during the week, but he's also always blowing up my phones this weekend uh, on the weekend to go town, downtown. It stresses me out if I don't go. Um, oh, that's also something else I can add to. You know, If I don't go downtown with them... Um, it's actually perfect. Wisdom mental. He stresses me out. Out because he plays. Um, let's see. What's the word for it? He stresses me. 
out because he complains I didn't go downtown with him. So, um, basically, that's another just negative injection right there. So, um, you know, I either go downtown with them, you know, have fun with them and stuff, but also have all these other injections negatively that affect me. Um, then, uh, I mean, you could put a positive, you know, he, I get out with them, but still, it's not going to level out. Um, but, you know, he stresses me out, complains I didn't go downtown with them. So, then, you know, even if I don't go with them, he adds a negative injection in my life of stress from complaining and stuff that I didn't go downtown with them and stuff. And that's just time and energy I don't need in my life. Um, so, again, he was a level three. So, let me just do that again because I added another one. So, um, he's going to have a total of 15. 15 negative points so i mean he has a very strong negative impact in my life so i want to what's what's the action i'm gonna take to move myself away from this relationship so i want an action not just a plan i, I know i need to move myself away but what's the specific action i'm gonna take tomorrow um or today to move myself away from this relationship well so I, the only benefit the only reason why i keep him around is because he helps me study then and he has all this negative on the energy on the weekend i can maybe talk to him him to stop inviting me downtown or find a new downtown okay so you can either talk to him tell, tell him to stop by me downtown and if that doesn't work um find a new uh study partner boom so, um, yeah, so he has a very negative impact on my life, so I need to move myself away. So I can either talk to him and tell him to stop inviting me downtown, and if he does not respect that, I can just find a new study partner and stop studying with them and push myself away from that specific person. So um, let's just grab another one. Let's see, let's do Jake. Jake, uh, so he is a level five uh, relationship within my life. Uh, so what I can do right here, go to the positives. Uh, Jake, one, two, three, um, three occurrences of his name in the positive, and like I'm not gonna go to the negatives or anything like that. Um, so he's a level five. He has three, so he has 15 positive points. Um, this is where I would add his negative points if he had any, and then I would go to okay, what can I do to elevate? This is this is obviously a very good relationship for me to keep around. A lot of more positive than negatives. What can I do to elevate that relationship? And, um, you know, not necessarily take it further, but I just, I need to maintain that relationship, keep, make sure it's in good standing. Uh, cause obviously he's a very good person. There's a lot of positive energy around him, um, and coming from him on paper. So what can I do to elevate it? Uh, you know, keep maintaining it, you know, keep it good. Uh, well, you know, let me take a look at my life. I, I noticed that I don't, uh, you know, hang out with him enough. You know, maybe, I, maybe I could do lunch with them every Friday. So, um, I can do so the specific action I can take to elevate that relationship is uh, have lunch um, or you know maybe because then that might contradict something else like you know maybe that's a negative now that you know got to spend money with every Friday on lunch so maybe uh, something simple I mean obviously don't go too far into it because you know if you look at some of the positive some stuff could eventually turn to negative um but you know if we can both afford lunch every friday and have the money he has the money and it's not a hurt on either of us then it's not a negative injection so um have lunch every friday spend some time together boom so uh you basically want to just evaluate your whole life uh or all these people and evaluate the the positive and negative injections uh figure out whether they have a positive or negative impact in your life and then you want to create specific actions either elevate that or move yourself away from that relationship and that's it you know now you have actions to take and you go out and act on this and then what trust me do this thing in another 30 days re you don't have to use the same people but reevaluate your circle again in 30 days figure out what names have dropped off because you realized oh shit this jack person so 30 days from now you realize you have no more contact with jack your life is feeling better 
you know, his name doesn't even pop up because you don't talk to him much. You might have a new person. You might have that new study partner. Um, you can you can just break down your list. You do this every 30 days. Uh, you're going to realize the people in your life. You know, you be aware of their pros and cons, basically. The negative energy they add into your life, the positive energy, and whether they add more negative than positive. And you're really going to be able to um, just be happier. You're going to notice a lot more positive flow and energy in your life. And it's going to be very powerful. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this tool. Drop a comment below. And, you know, come back in 30 days after you do this. Let me know. Again, if, if you're not going to take these actions, though, specifically, then you're not going to elevate your life. If you just do this, become aware, and then don't take any action with the data you've received in your life, you're going to be in the exact same spot you are. So really take some time. Do this good. You know, maybe do it two or three times in a row the very first time. Uh, maybe over time, you know, improve some of these. But I recommend you do this every 30 days and really evaluate your life. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps out with your life. And uh, have a good day.